Okay, free kick to uh, Melton Town. Comes in. Ooh, and it's a header wide. It's a corner. Incredible. Oh dear. Into the magic man. Need a bit of magic. Back to Edo again. Forward. Oh, can Sim get there now? Chris Lloyd! Yes! It's Chris Lloyd! Even St. John's taking the lead! It's 1 0 against the Edo play a little bit. But who cares? A brilliant start for Heaver. The Magic Man magics the ball over the top, and it's uh, Simon Coburn. Still, oh, a left foot shot, uh, which is blocked, and uh, Mountain bring it out. And he's the Magic Man. Lovely ball out wide to Simon Coburn. Good control. Oh, oh brilliant by Sim. And uh, <laughs> I think he wanted a penalty, but I think he went down a bit too easy. Okay, is uh, Melton coming forward now? Good run. Oh, it's a super run. That could be a penalty, and the referee says no. <laughs> oh dear. A few decisions for the referee. He's struggling to keep up with play a bit, I think. And that's a nice ball. It's Chris Lloyd. It's a Touch to Evie, yes, it's a good tackle. And uh, the keeper. Clears, but only as far as Simon Coat. No, it's uh, Raph. Oh, and just over the top. What a super FF from Dean Raph there. That's why he's the Magic Man. Dougie should win that in the air, he does. Now it's the Magic Man. Magically, he goes past two. And that's a lovely ball, it's Simon Coburn, can you get there? Oh, that's going to be a penalty, it is! And, uh, well, I don't know what Melton are arguing for. Oh, I tell you what, wow, the Linos uh, give offside. Wow. Good tackle from Cowley. And that's half time. And it's uh, Heaver St. John's one, Melton Town nil. And uh, that's a decent ball in, good header. Oh, and it's just wide, and Melton come close. And, uh, oh, Simon Coburn does well to steal it. Can he have the, find a finish? Oh, no. Anyway, here we go. Oh, it's a great ball in. Oh, oh and Josh Willis. Oh, dear, oh, dear. He should have done better there. Okay, so Melton again. Balls there, fired in. All good skill. Oh, and Spink uh, takes, plucks it out of the air. Good kick by uh, Billy Spink. Josh Willis. He wins the head and outs him in Coburn. Oh, Chris Lloyd. Good ball out wide. It's Cowley. Yes! Oh, and it's off the line. And Cowley unlucky. It's a Melton at possession. It's a long ball over the top. Oh, can they get there? No. And a good save from Billy Spink again. Clearance is uh, Captain Willow, but uh, just couldn't take the ball with him. And now Melton break. Oh, he finds it. Oh, it's a brilliant defending from Edo. But it's a corner to Melton. It's a throw in. And a uh, long clearance. Oh, oh, Edo misses out. 
Dougie comes across out. Oh, what a good goal. It's now one all. It's going to be uh, Wheelie. He doesn't look 10 yards, does he? Oh, and it's a corner. Yes, corner ball. Referee blows the whistle. And it comes. And uh, Josh Willis get there. Oh, it's just over the bar. Oh, dear. Head forward. And that's it. The final whistle. And uh, I think we're straight to penalties. Okay, it's going to be uh, Melton with the first penalty. Can Billy Spink be a hero? Billy, please be a hero. No, it's a good penalty. It's 1 0 to Melton. Okay, first up for uh, Heaver is Joe McNulty. Oh, it's a good penalty. Well, I say a good penalty it went in. That makes it a good penalty. It's now 1 1. Well, it's uh, Melton's number 11. In my opinion, their best player. And, uh, can Billy be a hero this time? Oh, it's a super penalty right in the roof of the net. Billy's big no chance. It's 2 1 to Melton. Okay, second up is uh, another sub. It's Ryan Pace. Can he do what Joe McDulty did? Oh, he's hit the bar. And uh, it's still 2 1 to Melton. Okay, it's uh, Melton's third penalty. Yet to miss. Oh, and it's hit the bar again. It's still 2 1 to Melton. Okay, now Chris Lloyd for Heather. Can he bring them level? He does. It's a really hard penalty. Bit of cramp set in there as well, I think. But it's now 2 2. Okay, it's 2 all. Melton with their fourth penalty. And it's a good run right in the corner. 3 2 to Melton. Okay, Tevis top goal scorer, Simon Kerborn. Can he uh, bring Heaver level once again? He does, it's a lovely penalty, it's 3 3. Well, we're in a sudden death situation now. It's uh, Melton's fifth penalty. Come on, Bill! And Billy Spink be the hero. He does! Billy, you are the hero! Yeah. Okay, can the magic man score the winning penalty in magic man style? Billy Spink just with the save. Champion of the winners of the Leicestershire Senior Cup. Absolutely super. James Ashburn with the winning goal. Wheelie to lift the uh, Leicestershire Senior Cup. Wheelie, Wheelie, Wheelie! Wheelie! Here we go. Come on, Wheelie! Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. 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 It's done. And Adam Wilkes, of course.
Okay, well, I'm here with uh, triumphant manager Simon Lyons. And uh, Simon, well, that makes up for last year. It certainly does. Um, it's nice. <laughs> Cheers, <laughs> it's nice to be on the, uh, the other end of it last year. You know, we lost to Burbage on a close final. Obviously, this time again, going to penalties. A bit nerve wracking, but the boys worked really hard. I thought, you know, they had a lot of possession, a good side, very good side. I think we had a lot of chances in the game that we could have put the game to bed, but you know, it's one of them games, isn't it, to and fro. But just pleased to fucking, oh, excuse me, pleased to, pleased to have won it. <laughs> could better cut that mark. Yeah. Um, yeah, pleased to have won it. So just, just happy for the boys. They've worked, they've worked their socks off now for weeks on end. Uh, got ourselves in a great position in the league, which you know we've got to try and finish the job off. Um, but credit to them, they've worked the, worked the socks off. This is for them. This is, uh, I enjoy watching them put the trophy up, and you know, they'll hopefully have a good night, and we can. Uh, have a strong end to the season. Yeah, and, and it was a super finish from Chris Lloyd, the uh, golden open play. It was, it was. I, I went to watch them, and they're, again, as I say, they're, they're a class side. I thought we could get behind them uh, with a bit of pace, and Lloydy, Lloydy's one of the best finishers in the league. That's why we went to the football club. You know, if you give him a chance, you know, nine times out of ten, he's going to be the target. So, uh, yeah, pleased he got his goal. Got one Saturday as well, so um, hopefully he can continue that vein for the rest of the season. Yeah, and I, I have to mention your defence as well. I mean, this season they've been absolutely fantastic. And, uh, and as good as Melton Town are, I can't remember them really having many chances. Yeah, I think I think we defended well. We've defended well. You know, we it's no secret that our running has been a real tough running. We've had some real tough games, but our defence has been class, I will say. They were class Saturday against Warwick. They were class at Burbage. Burbage is a tough place to go at any time of the season. I thought we defended well then. Defended really well against Leicester Road. So to come out with clean sheets, Warwick and Leicester Road, really pleasing. And again tonight, they've stood up to a good test, lots of movement, lots of pace. Um, but yeah, it's kind of, we can build from that. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm over the moon. Yeah, uh, Billy Spink as well. I mean, a fantastic save at the end. Uh, and he's been terrific for you, actually, since coming to the football club from Romulus. Yeah, brilliant. I mean, Billy played for me at Coastal Reserves a few years ago and before he went to America. And I think he's just got better and better and better. So. It's nice to have a familiar face, bring him into the club. Uh, you know, he knows a few of the lads anyway, settled in. I think one thing we've got this season, which is uh, a lot different from last season, is carrying us through. We've got a great team spirit. We've really got the team spirit and the lads are all, they're all pals. So, you know, we just try to go under the radar a little bit and, uh, you know, stick together and see where it takes us. So, uh, we just got to keep it going. And uh, the magic man does what the magic man does. <laughs> <laughs> the winning goal. I think... Uh, you, you know, you wouldn't want anyone else on the, on the fifth penalty to win a cup final. I think Dean's obviously well versed in scoring big goals and big games for us, and he's, he's done that this season. Um, he scored, he must have scored nearly 30 goals for us uh, since joining the club, so that's a great return for him. But you know, he has got that coolness under pressure, so brilliant. I'm pleased for you know Dean. Dean will love that for the lads as much as for himself all day long. You know, he's, he's a good lad, he's a team player. So uh, yeah, I'm pleased, pleased for them all. And uh, finally, uh, on to the league now, still a job to be done and a, a tough game against Studley on Saturday. Yeah, yeah like I say, I think we, our running's been really tough. So, yeah, you know, we, we've, we've just got to go with that same application and see what we can get. You know, uh, We've got Studley away, then we've got your Tuckster at home before we obviously go to the Adders on the last day. So, um, we've got to stay focused. Uh, it's no point. Uh, but, you know, football, football can bite you in, in the backside, so we won't be taking anything for granted. We've got to go again. And try and uh, try and get positive results out of it. Simon, congratulations! Well done. Cheers, Mark. All the best, mate. Okay. Cheers. Thank you.